There are two ways to measure UVB intensity that are accepted in the community. The first is to measure the actual light intensity at microwatts per centimeter squared. The second is UV index developed by the World Health Organization to communicate your likelihood to get sunburn. The community has mostly transitioned over to the UV index scale, and our standard measurement tool is the solar meter 6.5. The UV index scale goes from zero at night when there's no light, and up from there. UV index of three is a good level for chameleons to live in, UV index of 13 could be a very hot summer day, and UV index of 43 is the highest measured on Earth on a volcano in Bolivia. Now, we must be careful because our T5 UVB linear lights can produce higher UVB levels than can be found on a scorching summer day. So we must be deliberate on how close we let our chameleons get to our lights. Our lights also start off with high output when they're first out of the box, and then over their life of service, they decrease the output. And because of this, and, and well, we can't see UVB, that is why a UVB meter even though they are relatively expensive, is a critical part of the serious chameleon herpeticulturist's toolbox. In the next episode, I'm going to be talking about the gradient of light as it comes off of the UVB bulb. Follow Chameleon Academy for the entire series, and I will see you tomorrow.